guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. Masculine, how's it going? So this is going to be Yang reading for March the 12th until the 19th. I hope you're doing really well. I'm really excited about the Twin Flame reading that I just did. Uh, you guys are really making you know great strides in your journey to consciousness. Um, you're really connecting with your heart space, and that's allowing you to awaken your your soul and uh, yeah it's and you're really coming into your power as well so I'm excited to find out you know what what brought you to this place all right so I think I'm going to do a crystal ball reading so it's a five by five grid um, there are four cornerstone cards which represent the main energy of the reading, one center card which is the message from the universe. Uh, so there's a distance past, the, a recent past, a present position, near future, and um, the final outcome. Okay, so let's begin with the first cornerstone card, the Three of Swords. So in the distant past, masculine, you, you've had a broken heart. Somebody has hurt you deeply. Uh, and these are cutting words, you know, sword is uh, thoughts or words that hurt you. Um, and so because it's a cornerstone card, you know, you're bringing this very heavy wounded energy into, um, you know, the present moment, into your plane of existence. Next. The Six of Cups, very cool synchronicity. Uh, this showed up with the Four of Cups in the foundation for the Twin Flame um, Union energy. So you were bringing in this card on your own as masculine, connecting with, you know, it was connected with the Fourth Cup. So there's this desire uh, that you had in the past to reconnect with the feminine, to reunite. So this is somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life. Now there may have been a connection made with you and your Divine Feminine that um, created heartbreak or is helping you to heal. Let's move it back one. Oh, come on. Okay, next. The strength card. So this showed up as um, a final outcome and it was coming with the Emperor card. And so what I was getting from that is, you know, you're kind of telling us, well, how did you arrive at this monumental point in your life? You know, and the energy it brought with it is the strength card. It's taming that beast within. It's calming. Um, calming your primal instincts to react but also creating a very gentle nurturing environment for people to open themselves up and the crowning energy was you know you desiring to connect with somebody on an emotional level obviously you know somebody you love very deeply which would be your divine feminine so you've had a broken heart you've desiring reconnection or reunion um, and you're trying to find this gentle strength within yourself this power this courage um, strength you know the Sun card showed up a couple times um, with a lot of fire energy in your reading along with the solar plexus chakra we also saw a solar plexus chakra activation in your present moment with the Sun card as well so you're breaking open and this power is spewing forth basically right and it came from a very loving gentle space 
you know, you're loving yourself, you're, you're being gentle with yourself. So let's carry on. Wow, are you kidding me? The heart chakra, this showed up in your past position for the twin flame reading. Very cool synchronicities, guys. So here we have an opposite effect. We have a broken heart and a whole heart. So this is a motor that drives consciousness, unconditional love. When you feel unconditional love, not just for your partner, but for all, um, then you are living in a place of peace and harmony and, you know, just nothing but good will flow into your life as a result of it. Final cornerstone card in the distant past is the Knight of Wands. So fire energy. So this is um, taking a spark of inspiration and moving forward in a fiery pursuit. So it is a very forward energy like an arrow, very directed, unstoppable, very passionate. So I'm seeing this energy coming forth as a result of the heart chakra activation and because it's the cornerstone card this energy of movement and healing and strength um, is blasting forth into the future right? it's, it's it started with pain and then through a loving connection and gentle encouragement the heart chakra opened and you know the Phoenix rising this explosion um, and movement forward. You know, this energy is being directed towards achieving a goal and being inspired by love. All right, so recent past, temperance. This was the overall energy for the Twin Flame reading. Patience, being in the now, finding balance in all areas of your life, and we actually see you accomplishing that in your Twin Flame reading. So the recent past, you've been in the now. You have tempered yourself. You haven't been overindulging, right? So this card is below the Three of Swords, which tells me that um, either somebody has been helping you to heal your heart, somebody who's very patient, very angelic-like on a 5D level, or this is you, you know, turning that pain into... You know, it's like you're owning it, you're incorporating it into yourself to, to feel whole. And we can see that, that incorporation, that transmutation happening in your past as well. It's like all the elements of yourself is being pulled into oneness. So this is the ultimate union card for Twin Flames, right? And it's having balance in all areas of your life. It, and you can see it up here, except for the only thing that's not being represented is earth energy. So we have air, we have water, we have fire. Um, oh, we have air again. No, sorry. Yeah. The heart is air. And then fire. So the masculine has really been trying to find stability um, in those other three areas of your life, I feel uh, in terms of the 3D reality, you're pretty grounded already. So let's see what else comes up. There you go. That's exactly it. And another cool synchronicity, wisdom, solitude, right? So this card is coming up in your near future as well. So this is seeking solitude. This is also earth energy. It is disconnecting from the 3D though. Uh, disconnecting from the chains, the conditions, the stories, and then uh, seeking out solitude to find answers within. So we see this beautiful, peaceful, serene energy coming in from your recent past. And you've attained a great deal of knowledge as well, wisdom, through solitude. And you've discovered your light within and you want to share that light with others next wow the universe card so major illumination this is nirvana 
um, reaching the state of, you know, just oneness with all. Um, it's a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. You know, it's just discovering some truths about the universe, about yourself. And, you know, reaching this final phase of completion, putting the final piece of the puzzle in place. But also, you know, when you look at the universe, you see yourself. Three major arcanas so far in a row. Wow. And I was looking at the heart chakra when I went to reach for this card. And I was like, wow, okay, so what's going to be below the heart chakra? Of course, yin. Through that solitude, through being in the now, through being consciously connected to source, to the universe, he sees his feminine. He feels a deep love for her. This is really pointing to the sun card with the 1111 in the present moment. There's this, you know, answers you've discovered in the past that is connected to the twin flame connection. That's what's awakening you. Um, you know, this, this journey isn't about union. It isn't about coming together. It is about awakening, using each other's triggers, um, helping each other through painful times and giving each other unconditional love is what helps us move, you know, um, through this journey of awakening. And, you know, at the other side of that door, that's who's waiting for you. Unconditional love. It's that gentle, um, loving energy that you, you are feeling surrounded you which is opening you up, which is awakening you. Okay, next. Wow, the Nine of Cups. Are you kidding? That is so beautiful. The recent past, you feel that your dreams, your wishes have been fulfilled, and you're celebrating it. You feel like you've arrived at this beautiful place where your dreams are manifested. You went forward. You took control. You saw your, your dreams there, just within reach, and you went after that, and here, this is dreams fulfilled. This is so cool, guys. The synchronicities are amazing. So the feminine was actually bringing this energy into the union, and, the, you know, it was coupled with, um, oh my god, I totally forgot. Oh, so the Nine of Cups coupled with, I can't remember what it was now, but Oh yeah, the crown chakra. Um, and so we see here the yin beside the nine of cups. So there, the masculine, you are feeling this energy. Um, she's projecting this energy into the universe, you know, that, uh, that she feels love for you, that she's celebrating love, she feels complete. You're receiving that and you're sending it back to her. I feel this vortex of illumination through detachment and acceptance of that detachment, being patient um, while the masculine discovers the truth of the universe and sees the truth in the feminine. You know, and love, 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 love. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, so we're moving into the present moment. Two of Wands, open door. Again, looking at the universe through that crack in your mind. This is a Kundalini awakening, but it is an expansion of the mind, seeing all the possibilities. Right, that door is opening, that crack in your soul is opening. The High Priestess. So, here we have going within. The wisdom card is also about going within. So it is finding wisdom, finding answers through solitude, through silence, by listening to your own inner voice. So the high priestess is ruled by the moon. She has all the answers. And she is the subconscious mind. So you know, these things are locked behind a door, right? And so this door is open. 
those answers are there for you to discover or if you haven't already and if it feels to me like you have because it's right below the hermit already so the masculine third eye chakra activation another cool synchronicity um, and so they're having foresight they're seeing the future you know and they're being led by their intuition so the card in the past you know is the six of cups there may have been a disconnect but the disconnect was to rediscover the union and you know to rediscover the feminine missing the feminine feeling a broken heart from it but he had to heal himself first he had to love himself first and once he did he discovered these amazing you know had these major revela revelations now this high priestess also represents a feminine in the 5D offering support. You know, she's on the other side of that door. She is there always with you in the 5D. Okay, so the next card is the major um, message from the universe and the major energy. Wow, Ten of Cups, are you kidding me? And again, I'm feeling, you know, this third eye chakra opened looking in at the universe and seeing this this ten of cups this ten of cups is being projected back to you from the universe this is what you see and feel and the universe is confirming it right so the, we got the nine progressing to the ten of cups so this is the happily ever after you desire this and the universe wants this for you I almost want to cry this is so beautiful and you're getting this encouragement, gentle encouragement, to open yourself up to it. So the Ten of Cups is um, peace and harmony within the family, within your relationships, at work. No one's fighting, everyone's getting along. next the two of pentacles so we got two twos here so the twos you know with the two of wands that means you've made a decision already in the past to see things from a higher perspective to shift your thoughts from something that's negative into something positive and build on your inspiration now you've already made a decision to pursue something that was for your higher good rather than for material gain. So that decision was made with the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands is an expansion of that decision. And the expansion seems to be taking place within the heart space. Now the Two of Pentacles is manifestation of that decision. And while that intention is taking root, it's transforming the material world and making you feel unsteady feeling you know like you're being pulled in two different directions as well so the message of this card is to be the center to bend with the wind to be resilient to allow that change to happen so at the heart space both aspects um, share the destiny card which is a wheel of a fortune it's a change right and so the masculine, you're feeling that in the material world. Um, now I mentioned earlier the 3D reality wasn't really um, affecting you all that much um, because you were detached as the hermit. The present moment, your manifestations are happening, your dreams are coming true. You feel that your dreams are coming true. Um, but still there's this uneasiness as the manifestation happens you know um, and right above that is the the Empress card right yin so although there's a desire to have this change it's still making him feel a little uneasy but he's he this is what he wants he wants his happily ever after but as the shift happens he feels um, off balance that's why the overall energy for the Twin Flame reading was the Temperance card, right? And so, let's see what, what else happens here. Okay, next is Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. 
So it's like, you know, for a brief moment, as that reali reality is manifesting, it made him feel uneasy, but boom, regained his groundedness, his foundation in an instant. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is achievement. This is fruition. We got two nines in a row, again, pointing to that Knight of Wands, that cornerstone card. You decided to go forward after your dreams. Your dreams are manifesting on emotional and physical level. Two nines. So this could be, um, you know, breaking a final bond to gain your independence or something happens and, you know, you suddenly have this influx of um, financial success or, you know, and this is also a self-love card. So a major feeling of accomplishment and manifestation here. Good for you guys. Okay, so the near future, Ten of Wands. So we have a progression from the two to the ten. So this is a completion of a cycle, end of a burden. Feeling like you're caught in a machine, working day in, day out, burning a candle both ends. So it's a phoenix rising. So you got two tens so far in your reading, completions. And the universe card as well as a major completion. The water and the earth card, you're getting there. Lover's card, oh my god. You're bringing in this into the heart space along with the destiny card. You feel destined um, to be in this connection. And if you look to the past, there's that six of cups again. You feel drawn when you go within and you connect with your higher self. You feel the presence of your twin flame connection. You see it in your mind's eye, and that's what you're willing into the 3D. You want that happily ever after. So this is passion, desire, recognizing your twin flame, and longing for that connection, wanting to be with them. So we see this um, desire building to a point where you're laying in a bed of fire, really. You know what I mean? You're just consumed by this desire. Next. Eight of Swords. This was a final outcome for the feminine. So this is feeling locked out mentally. So it's a very unusual card. There's been so many positive cards here. Now we're starting to see a struggle. You know, maybe perhaps you don't believe that you, sh you can have that happily ever after, but it's right. The universe is, is saying, yes, it's yours. You know, you... You know, if you believe it's not real then it's not real you make it not real next oh my god yang yin with the heart chakra oh my god so clearly you break free of that mental prison as the emperor and this is another cool synchronicity is that this was the final outcome for the twin flame wow so this is somebody taking action taking control um this is you discovering your true authentic self through the feminine, through the twin flame connection. And you finally break free of the illusions, the lies, and you discover a truth about the feminine. Next. Oh my God, the four of wands. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. So many beautiful cards here, wish granted, feeling, you know, that arrival, concrete in 3D, discovering yourself and the twin flame connection. I use this card as confirmation of a twin flame and, and all the decks, four of wands. So this is commitment. Um, this is feeling like you've arrived with your twin flame um, on a spiritual journey, but it's cemented into the 3D. So this is the two of you sitting in front of a fire, enjoying each other's company, looking forward to the future. So this could be engagement, marriage, moving in, but it's a commitment, even to yourself. Final row, cornerstone card, three of wands. 
Yeah, you turn that three of swords into three of wands. Big thumbs up from the universe. You feel encouraged. You feel excited. There's that exciting energy that was resonating from the twin flame, right? That page of wands, just great news. Feeling like you're on the right track. Feeling inspired. Uh, this is, you're starting to see the initial fruits of your labor being manifested. And so that just excites you. And that's so awesome to see you coming out of the Ten of Wands with that energy. But next, Six of Wands. Oh my God. So you're the rock star. People are cheering you on. You're excited and you're taking the podium. You know, you're, you're being acknowledged for all of your hard work. And so this could be you looking at the Twin Flame, the lovers, uh, this passion. Um, you know, maybe you've been wanting to reconnect with the feminine and it happens, or you're encouraged to reach out. You know, this is about forming partnerships, working towards a goal. Next, base chakra. So this is the lowest chakra, number one. So it's a sense of safety, security, not feeling grounded in 3D. However, I'm almost seeing you putting, you know, a, a key in there, a lock and a key, kind of opening yourself up, releasing yourself from that prison, although you fear it, it makes you feel um, vulnerable. There was already this space of love and home created in the past that allows you to, to open yourself up, take a risk, begin anew. Next. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like the Yang, Yin, Heart Chakra, all encompassed into the Two of Cups. Spiritual union. Recognizing your twin flame. Feeling a deep love. True love. So this opens the Heart Chakra, which opens higher levels of consciousness. Wow. Final card, final cornerstone card. Six of Swords, are you serious? Six of Swords is moving to a calmer state, making a decision to move away from negative energy. So I think that, you know, that has to do with the Eight of Swords, the base chakra. The Three of Swords, right? It's, it's like the Three of Swords caused you to retreat with a solitude card, Hermit, Ten of Cups is drawing you back to yourself, to love, and, and allowing you to release those negative thoughts, perhaps. So I'm actually going to pull one card for that. What do you mean by the Six of Swords? I'm just going to use my smaller deck. And then I think I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen, and I'll read that to you as a final message from the universe. Just looking for any further synchronicities here. I like this row here. We got the knight moving forward, the yin, then the ten of cups, lover's card, and the three of wands, right? There's this vibrancy, this uh, passion and love that comes from the twin flame connection that empowers him. And of course, uh, this is my favorite role, right? The heart chakra, yin, Yang and the Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. So what I see here in the final row is you're struggling with fears, with thoughts in your mind, and you overcome those fears, right? And you see the Twin Flame connection for what it is. What do you mean by the Six of Swords? The Hermit. So, you know, we got a repeated message here of being hurt, by thoughts. You need to be the hermit in order to rediscover yourself, which you do. You are then, you know, you walk through that prison door, a free man. Now this could be returning to this 
energy to the the six of swords that which you walked away from in the past you know it's a recycling or that cycle repeating um or you i don't know you know you put the past behind you once and for all that's kind of what i'm feeling with that Okay, so let me pull one card from the Osho Zen. What is the message for from the universe? What messages do you have for the masculine collective? Stop already, okay. Are you kidding me? Beyond illusion. Oh my god. So, and then I was looking at the bottom of the deck as the four of wands. So... Wow. Because this card um, showed up in the past position as... A card I was just drawn to flip over out of the blue. So I've already read this card to you in the Twin Flame reading. So if you want to read that again, or you want to listen to that, you can feel free to do so. This was coming in the past. So the final message uh, from the universe was this rise in consciousness, connecting with your inner self, connecting with your soul, and meditation using your third eye chakra crazy seem beyond illusion so participation I'll find it there we go Have you ever seen night going? Very few people become aware of the things which are happening every day. Have you ever seen the evening coming? The midnight and its song, the sunrise and its beauty. We are behaving almost like blind people in such a beautiful world. We are living in a small pond of our own misery. It is familiar, so even if somebody wants to pull you out, you struggle. You don't want to be pulled out of your misery of your suffering. Otherwise, there is so much joy around you. You have just to be aware of it and to become a participant, not a spectator. Philosophy is speculation. Zen is participation. There you go. Okay, so philosophy. The hermit is the philosopher looking for, you know, that inner wisdom, right? Um, but this card is asking you to participate, to come out of solitude, to be a part of life. Zen is participation. Participate in the night leaving. Participate in the evening coming. Participate in the stars. And participate in the clouds. Make participation your lifestyle. And the whole existence becomes such joy. Such an ecstasy. You could not have dreamed of a better universe. Wow. And so, you know, that's the universe saying, this joy, this ecstasy, this twin flame connection is yours. But you need to participate. And you're being encouraged to face your fears and come out of that solitude. Come into um, connected connectedness with all. All right. So I do hope this helped, guys. Uh, please hit the like, share, subscribe. Uh, and please do comment. I love your comments. All right. Cheers. Take care.